What are you doing? Typically, I walk into my projects with some sort of drawing or 3D model, but this time I'm making it up as I go. So, here we go. I needed to come up with some way to mount this blower unit to the filter box itself and to kind of stand it off the, the frame. So I'm starting off with this quarter inch MDF cutting this ring out that I'll use as a template to make sure that my fitting's correct and I'm not you know, obscuring any of the airflow. And then I'll bring it over and I'll trace it onto this three quarter inch plywood and then I'll cut the actual ring out and that will bolt to the blower itself. And this will give me somewhere to kind of screw or bolt this, this blower motor unit to the filter box. With some sort of plan kind of designed up in my head, I'll be cutting all the plywood up to make the carcass of this filter box. So it's roughly two feet by two feet and then 15 inches deep. With all the filter box pieces cut out, what I can do is take that collar that I made and temporarily glue it onto the blower unit. And this ultimately will just help stand that blower unit off the plywood bottom and give me a better way to secure it. With how goofy shaped that bottom is, it just didn't sit flat and didn't give me any good spots to, to secure it to this filter box itself. Now with that collar just laid out on the lower piece of the filter box, I'll trace it out, drill some holes, and then glue my template on there and use my router to cut this out in the lower piece of the filter box. This will be the air intake for the filter system. With the air intake cut out, I can put my quarter inch template back on there and trace the hole out. And that will give me a good spot to know where I need to countersink and place my screws to secure this blower unit to the bottom of the filter box. blower itself is recessed inside the filter box, so I'm going to frame it out to accommodate the ductwork that I'll eventually add to this. With the blower now encased inside of what I'm gonna call the filter box, I need to make a spot or a frame where the filter itself is going to mount. At this point in time, I didn't know what size filters I was gonna be using, so I built it to accommodate either a 16 by 20 or a 20 by 20 filter, either being one inch thick or two inches thick. Now that the filter frame's complete, I'm gonna make some spacers to accommodate the thickness of the filters, and then just run a bead of caulk around all the seams to ensure that I don't have any air leakage here. The top of this filter unit's not going to be glued down, it's strictly going to be screwed. So if I ever have to get in here and replace a motor or the starter cap, I can easily just lower the unit down from my ceiling and simply just replace that and not have to break the glue apart. Now I'm laying out four holes on the top and four holes on the bottom that will accommodate this 3 8 all thread that the filter itself will be hanging from. If you saw my shop heater install video, this will be the exact same concept that I did in that.
All right, so real quick, I thought I'd explain what I got going on here. So I'm gonna hang this just like I did my shop heater. So I'll be hanging it from all throw trapeze type system. So I made this little jig here that um, lines up with the four holes that I drilled through the box of this filter system. So what I'll do is I'll screw this up to the ceiling of my shop and use these pre-drilled holes as a template to know where I need to punch the holes through my ceiling of my shop. So as long as these holes don't line up um, with any of the truss beams, I'll be good to go. my remaining half inch plywood, I'm gonna be cutting the components to make the mini duct system that I'll be installing on this filter unit. With the all thread passed through my ceiling, I can now remove this template before hanging the filter unit itself. All right, so while I'm waiting for the new motor to replace the one that I blew up like an idiot, I'll be painting this black along with the duct work and then I'll also be running the power up to the ceiling with an outlet where this is gonna plug in and where it's ultimately gonna be hanging. All right, so the new motor came in. This is the replacement for the one I blew up like an idiot. So anyway, so I can finish wiring this up, get it reinstalled. Um, I also ordered a new capacitor so that I could just replace the old one out um, at the same time of having this whole thing opened up. I don't want to have to get back in there anytime soon because it'll be mounted up on my ceiling. So I can continue wiring this up, get it hung from the ceiling, and then finish up the main power um, supply for it, um, installing the switch and getting the power hooked up. So I'm not gonna go into detail on how to wire this, but this blower motor is 240 volt, so I tapped off my main 240 volt circuit that I run most of my larger tools off of. This blower unit only draws an amp and a half, and it's on a 20 amp circuit. And since I'm a one-man show, I'm only running one of those 240 volt tools at a time, aside from this filter unit running. So there's really no risk of overloading that circuit or having to run a dedicated circuit just for it. At this time, I'll be powering on and off this unit with a two-pole switch, but down the road, I plan on adding the dust right remote wireless switch for it. You know those five minute hack videos that always flood your Facebook news feed showing you stupid things you probably never use? Well, I guess I can check that one off the list. I intentionally left the all thread long for the ease of hanging this unit, so now it's time to cut the excess off. Now I'll be mounting the ductwork. It's about 40 inches long and it's supported midway with some jacking chain and then just pocket screwed to the filter unit itself. This ductwork will just help push the clean filtered air away from the intake side so I'm not just cycling the same air through and hopefully distribute the airflow throughout the shop better. All right, so that's my shop air filtration system. So I built it for a couple of reasons. One being uh, pretty obvious, I wanted to filter the air in my shop while I'm doing some projects. And the other is to circulate more air in here. So now that the temperatures are starting to drop, I'll be running my shop heater a lot more, so that'll kind of help cycle that warm air around. So I was able to pick up this blower motor for free from a buddy that works in the HVAC trade. So aside from uh, buying one sheet of half inch plywood and replacing a motor that got burned up, it was relatively cheap to work on. 
So I'm currently running a 20 inch by 20 inch by two inch filter that seems to be working awesome. And the motor itself is three speed, so I'm still kind of messing around with what speed I want to run it on. But so far, I think the low speed is going to be the hot ticket. It, it moves enough air and it's not as noisy. So with the temperatures dropping right now in my area, I've got a ton more shop projects that I want to make videos on and build. So make sure you're subscribed, like this video, and I'll catch you on the next one.